Good morning, everyone. This is my face is still asleep look. I'm awake, but my face is still asleep. And I know we all have it. Well, spent yesterday finishing installing the last final appliances. This is a little anticlimactic for the kitchen series we've been doing, but we're done with it and we're glad it's done. So let's check it out here. Kim's actually going to do her first uh, cooking on here. Make some eggs on the griddle. It's a nice little built-in griddle here, so we're going to check it out. I think that's on. Yep. Oh, cool. Yeah. How do you get that clicking to go off? So the, the um, it'll turn off automatically. Oh, okay. When it's lit. Um, so the griddle was a big part. You, you kind of were excited about that, right? It is lit, but it's not going off. Yeah, I am excited about that because usually I got to dig oh, out. You have my, to turn uh, it off light. I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is new. The microwave. <clears throat> this is the final piece here, guys. So this is the last <laughs> we're going to do this. Anyhow, but you know what? I, I got to read the directions to figure out the control panel. I'm, I don't even know how to use this thing yet. So that'll be interesting. So this was actually a challenge for me to install because I had to tear into the wall to adjust the gas valve, point it a different direction, get the right fitting on. It turned into an all day event. And <laughs> um, glad it's done though. I, in fact, I was too tired to get the camera out and film me when I had the wall open. Guys, that's just kind of how, how long it got. So You had the wall open? Yeah. I wasn't home when he yes. put up put all this in, so I, I have no idea. In, I had to tear into the wall. I have no idea what's behind here. No, you don't. Or I don't want to know. know. <laughs> all right, all from the kitchen. Just wanted to show you guys that. Well, tomorrow is the day that I am going to send the camera in. If you remember, it fell off the tripod a little while ago. So I'm absolutely bummed because it means at least two weeks without this camera. And it still works. It still films great both uh, photo and video, but still just to be apart from this for two weeks is really tough. It's just like part of me is missing. And just a little thing that you might find helpful is that a lot of these uh, advertisements in Best Buy, they, they tell you how great, how many pixels the camera is, the lenses or the, the camera, how many 18 pixels or, you know, 24 pixels and stuff. Or, well, the truth about that is just that if you blow up really big posters and you make giant posters for displays and big signs, then you need big pixels like that. That's something above 13 because that's what that's all that really is. is that is how packed in the pixels are per square inch or per little quarter inch, whatever they're measuring is. So the higher that number, the more you can blow up that picture and it's, you're not going to see a bunch of little dots. So that's really what the pixel thing is all about. So it's a little misleading. I think they try and sell a lot of people that, boy, the higher the pixels, the better pictures you're going to have. Well, that's really not all true unless you're going to blow up your pictures. What's important is what's called the CMOS or the sensor. I'm sorry, the sensor. Now the 7D has a CMOS sensor and that's the thing you should read about when you look at cameras. Is Look in, this, in this, uh, the fine print for what kind of sensor it has. And then you do your reviews on that sensor. So the uh, 7D has a good uh, CMOS sensor in it. And um, let me just kind of just show you real quick what it does. So you can see a mirror in there. And when you hold that mirror down, you'll see the CMOS sensor in the very, very back of the camera and then you release, etc., and then it closes the mirror and it closes what's called the second curtain. So camera nowadays, some of them boast that they're mirrorless. So that means there's no mirror inside and the image goes directly onto the sensor and then into the uh, storage device. I don't quite get how all that works. Uh, that's a little, I don't know, sorry, kind of get going about this stuff, but Gonna get this boxed up and for now, our next few videos are going to be on, shot on the little, the little camera, the little Sony. Again, not a bad camera, does a good job, but uh, still, eh, I don't like being without this for this long. So I'm gonna really pack this thing with some love and 
going to get it cleaned while they're doing the LCD repair. So they, of course, you can get the simple cleaning, just like everything in life. You can do the simple or you can do the deluxe. Simple cleaning is $50. I think it's a seven point cleaning where they clean the sensor. You don't want to clean the sensor yourself. You just, you just want to stay out of there. And uh, the more expensive cleaning is 125 and I think it's a 17 point cleaning. So <laughs> isn't that just how life is though? Just, you can get this simple or you can get the you know deluxe and just everything gets more complicated that way. So. But anyway, all right, so I think that's gonna be pretty good. So our next few videos for the remainder of this week are gonna uh, be, I think they're actually pretty good, are gonna be shot on the little guy. So we'll see how that does. Canon's really good about their turnaround. They were last time when I got my, just my regular maintenance. And I hope that's the case here. So, all right, we're gonna get this shipped tomorrow. I'll keep you posted on it and uh, we'll see you guys on the next vlog video, all right? Okay, we're going out uh, date night again. And yeah, Wednesday night. So uh, here we are driving and we are going to a new restaurant. It's like a vegan vegetarian restaurant that we've heard about. I'm really excited about it. Not that I'm vegan, but trying to eat more plant-based proteins. Now, I don't know about camera guy. How are you feeling about going to a vegan vegetarian restaurant? Well, I'm doing this for you, basically, <laughs> honestly. Okay, he's a, he's a good husband. Um, the cool thing is, actually our daughter just went there the other day. It also has like a natural foods market. I'm in the market for some organic, chemical-free makeup. I'm going chemical-free in my hair products, which I'll tell you more about that in a later episode. But I'm also looking for a couple makeup products that I'm hoping to find there as well, along with some really good food. So we'll see what's on the menu. Yeah. Actually, I already have a menu, and to me, it looks really delicious. All righty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Okay, we'll check it out. Okay, we'll let you guys know how it is. Okay, well, we just came out of Follow Your Heart restaurant. Good. Really cool it place. It was really cool. It had some really nice, uh, kind of funky feel atmosphere. The food was Very amazing. Cool. Yeah, it was good. I'm, good. I'm hooked. Okay, I got a chili baked potato. And, and just... And uh, you got a, like a veggie burger, but it wasn't just any veggie burger. Right. It, tasted, it, was, it tasted like a real burger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was good and it's just a really cool store inside as well. Really old school. Yeah, really cool. You're going back in time when you go in there. It's pretty cool. It's kind of, it has kind of a funky feel. I actually got some... Um, I'm going to make sure I got you on film. <laughs> I got some vegan honey mustard because we uh, had french fries, organic french fries, dipped in honey mustard and they sell it here. They make it, they sell it. It's delicious. I have leftovers for my lunch tomorrow. The portions are huge. Yes, that's true. I've been keeping camera guys sold on this place, right? Yeah, it's fun. I think we'll kind of make this a regular thing for a bit here. The people were super friendly. Yep. We spent a while talking to the owner. Yep. Yeah, the owner. And totally the owner was it. sitting right behind us, and we met the owner's son, and he just gave us the lowdown. It was really a really cool place. Yeah. All right. Yep, so we're sold on it. Go find your local Follow Your Heart restaurant, if they have <laughs> anywhere else. I don't know. Very cool. <laughs> You want to say well, something? I tell you what I liked about it was um, they had a great variety of just a little of everything. They had great desserts. They had yummy looking desserts, and you know, you just you just don't feel like you're just eating like bread and rock and stuff. You know, you're getting a really good tasting meal and stuff. And they have they have a little of everything. So I'm looking forward to going back. What did you like about it? Oh, I loved it. I. I just like the clean taste. I mean, you know, I love like clean eating. Um, the chili was a vegetarian chili with beans and just delicious, huge portions. And I think the variety on their menu was yeah. amazing. I and mean, they had some incredible salads, like all organic. Yep. Along with um, entrees. And, you know, usually people think of vegetarian or vegan food as not really being all that great or, you know, just all vegetables or whatever. But right. this was super, super tasty. It was, I gotta admit it was. Super tasty. And I think they make a lot of their own, yes. um, 
dressings like that uh, honey mustard dressing is organic and, and homemade, you know, made in their own facility and bottled up too for sale at the store. So I think it just has a real personal touch to it. And I think that's what a lot of the bigger restaurants are lacking these days. Yep. It's just that personal touch. You know, kind of a kind of a down home family feeling that you uh -huh. don't get in like the chain restaurants. So two of us, we ordered entrees, came out of there what twenty five bucks total, 20, including tip, right? Yeah, twenty five bucks total. That's not yeah, bad. That's and they were, bad. and I have lunch for tomorrow. I, I could only oh, eat half of mine. Well, that's good. So yeah, very cool. Yeah, that was great. I will definitely, we will definitely be back. Yeah, I, agree. I sure. think so too. Try something different next time. Yeah, the enchiladas looked great too. Well, I'm really excited about winter time. I'm excited about doing some upcoming videos because I'm gonna be focusing on growing greens this winter. The end of the summer heat just really keeled over my greens and I cannot wait to get some new, fresh, organic greens in my garden. Super excited about it, so make sure you stick around for that. And thank you so much to all of our subscribers and all of our viewers for watching, for supporting us. You guys are the best. We're looking forward to seeing you guys on the Garden Channel and more here on the vlog. So thanks a lot for joining us on our date night. We'll see you guys later. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye.